We leave you tonight with the remarkable tale of a Montreal man who once thought he didn't have long to live. Then he got a life-saving kidney transplant. Now he's an athlete, breaking records and surprising even himself. CTV's Vanessa Lee has that story. It wasn't that long ago that Francois Farget thought he would never be able to work out again. I was afraid to collapse. I didn't know what my uh, energy level. I didn't know what to expect. Falcher was fighting for his life just a year and a half ago. His body was failing him. He was desperate for a kidney transplant. He was so weak, he couldn't even work. Fortunately, doctors found a match. To respect more life, uh, enjoy more life. Uh, oh, my God. A few months later, the 50-year-old decided to switch gears and take on cycling, a sport he knew nothing about. We had to teach him how, to, how the gears work, what the gears mean, uh, when to use them. I knew I could do it, so I got myself involved 100%. The training was especially grueling at first, but the former hockey player powered through, eventually cycling six days a week all the way to the World Transplant Games in Spain, an international competition for athletes who are all alive because of organ donation. There, he raced in the 5K ride, averaging 44 kilometers an hour, an impressive finish for the rookie. I uh, broke the other old record by a minute seven, uh, 22. Oh. 117, sorry, 117. But I finished ninth. Okay, so <laughs> it doesn't bother Forger that he didn't come home with a medal. The big win, he says, would be for more transplant recipients to realize they too can accomplish extraordinary feats. I want other people that got transplants somewhere around Canada, or Quebec, whatever in the world, that you can do sport and you can succeed. He could do it. It's possible. Pushing the limits as he makes the most of his second chance. Vanessa Lee, CTV News, Montreal.